So we are talking about the screen, and that is on GNOME 336. What we have now is a single page for all the shortcuts, which is good, but the labels are hard to recognize. When we click on a shortcut we have the ability to set only a single keybinding, that is something that will change. And of course we also have a search. Then we have this merge request that is based on official GNOME mockups. But with few weeks left before the UI freeze, I find it hard to commit that changes everything to land. Especially when there are already so many other things to get fixed before the final release, and when this merge request isn't complete yet. Still, it is very interesting, so here's a quick preview. So now on shortcuts page we have a new entry, which I don't like because it adds one more click. And if we click it we get a pop-up with shortcuts categories, that I absolutely hate because we can't always know what item is on what category. Something good though is that displays any modifications we have done. Getting inside a category, we have a readability mess, even if we scale that window bigger. Seriously, GTK simply can't do nice lists. Visuals aside, the most significant change is that we can now assign a second shortcut, but I really hate all these windows popping. It brings me 2000 memories. And again, double the shortcuts double worse the readability, mostly because of these stupid graphics on boxes. And anyway, clicking again on a shortcut we have a handy reset option. Meanwhile it's like 7 years now with this broken search design pattern in GNOME, but instead of fixing it, they're still keeping it broken and super annoying, and it is like everywhere. So we can search for a shortcut like that, but if we try to navigate to the sections, we'll get all these empty pages, because the search term is still activated. Originally I wanted to upload a Linux kernel configuration video, but I just have been lazy. My advice? Even if you don't want to compile custom kernels, open the Linux config and start reading what each module does. It is the only way to learn how Linux works. Specially recommended to new users. Seriously!